what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Demon Souls. We're still in the Nexus where of course, as a start to every episode, we need to basically kill ourselves because otherwise we have our body form in the uh, level that we're gonna go into next and that's not a good um, way to start because if we die, remember if we die, ooh, there's gonna be a phantom right next to us. If we die in a level, then we lose world tendency. Right now, our world tendency is actually looking pretty good. And for once, I'm not going to go back up to get my 50 souls, because it was only 50 souls. Because uh, if you take a look at world tendency, there's this handy little, uh, little icon for that here. So as you can see, right now, we are at plus two on the Archstone of the Covetous King. And it looks like we're at plus three on the Archstone of the Digger King, which is weird. We're also at plus one at the Archstone of the Shadow Man because of the amount of bosses we killed. So we killed two in the uh, Boletarian Palace. We killed two only in Stonefang Tunnel, but it looks like we're at full pure white tendency there already, which is something I'm going to have to check in a minute. And now we're at plus one in World 4 because of the fact that we killed the... Um, the Adjudicator. So, five bosses down, still like at least that amount left. We're gonna start this episode again in the Archstone of the Dicker King, because this is gonna be pretty quick and hopefully easy, because it might actually be a boss that, that one shots us, but uh, I guess we'll see in a minute. But first things first, remember we're at the beginning of the um, Stonefang Tunnel level again, and there's that, that god damn it, that crystal lizard is here again and we can kill those in one shot now that is amazing we got some more sharp stone shards out of that that is absolutely fine um and we, we remember blacksmith ed actually needed a uh, searing hot demon soul and if you uh, remember what we got after killing the flame lurker we actually got if i can find it here i think it must be here at the bottom then the uh, the demon soul for the flame lurker is actually called a searing demon soul, uh, which used to actually be the flaming hot demon soul, but for some reason they changed the uh, translation in the remake to something less uh, less cool, I suppose. But Ed can actually use this, so there we go. We can talk to him. I told you that I'm busy. Each ore has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> okay, that was not what I was looking for, but... Aha, yes, uh -huh, there we go, I needed to talk to him again. I don't know why, why the option wasn't presenting itself. Forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. So there we go, we can actually give him the Searing Demon Soul, which gives us the ability with Ed to actually create boss weapons, which is going to be really cool. Nice choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith, Ed. Bring me a demon soul, and I shall use it to bless your weapon. And he is definitely not kidding. There we go. We got a trophy for that as well. The road to possibilities. And from now on, we'll be able to actually transform certain weapons into certain other weapons, provided that we actually get the, uh, well, the prerequisite for this. For, so, for example, the club, I can actually turn into a meat cleaver if I have enough souls. I don't have enough souls at the moment, but the meat cleaver is a very cool, and I think it's even strength-based weapon. It is S and S, so it scales on both fronts, and it also scales with Fate. So this is one hell of a weapon uh, if I manage to get to that um, those prerequisites. And it's definitely something that I'm going to try out, but for now, I don't have the stats to use it. So we need 26 Strength, we're only at 24, I think. And we need 16 Fate, and we're only at 14 Fate. So we need two more levels in each to be actually able to use this. But I have enough, uh, I still have some consumable souls that I can use, but that's still not going to be enough. But this is going to be a very important weapon for me uh, rather soon. Another thing that we can make now that our halberd is up to plus six is the dozer axe, which is not a magical weapon, but is extremely, extremely powerful. 340 base power, no scaling, however, so it is 
less powerful because of that. Um, but it is incredibly dangerous. It's basically the axe that the uh, the Vanguard Demon is using. A single swing of this axe is sufficient to flatten a mere human. So yeah, very cool weapon indeed, but not something that we'll be using right now. And for the other weapons, we'll have to find out what we can do with that. Now, as promised, I'm gonna actually go back to the Archstone of the uh, Flame Lurker, because that's where we ended up last time, and that's actually where I want to continue on today. This might actually be, be painful as well if I get killed by this boss for the very first time. But uh, ages ago, a fire demon was imprisoned in an underground temple littered with the bones of dragons. Beyond the prison, in a sea of molten lava, are the resting bones of a dragon of unfathomable size. We saw this thing already in the beginning cinematic. For some reason, they spoiled that in this uh, starting cinematic. Although it's, it kind of harkens back to the original... Um, starting cinematic but it's uh it was less clear that it was referring to this boss at that point but uh, let's go right over there because uh, we're gonna finish stone fang tunnel right here and right now in one go because this is gonna be the final stage of stone fang tunnel and if you didn't notice during the boss fight the description actually stated that this uh the the flame lurker the demon was actually hiding in a cave with uh, a lot of dragon bones and you can actually see that over here there's like a giant dragon skull on the side where i think we picked an item up there as well there's a few more buried below and i think this is supposed to be a rib cage uh, the infamous spot where you can actually try and go in between to be uh relatively safe from flame lurker because i think there's a way you can actually go over here, I don't know if it's if they fixed it. Because I remember cheesing this boss fight like that, not that we did it uh, this time, but it is it is interesting to note. Now there doesn't seem to be any other items that we've missed, although this is shiny. This is shiny. There we go, another dead man. And we got dragonstone chunks. So yeah, if we want to make a fire weapon, that's gonna definitely come in handy. But let's go into this ominous tunnel. This doesn't look good, does it? There's like an altar over here. They might they might have actually performed sacrifices to uh, whatever is lying beyond this point. You can hear the bones of the people that were previously here crunching beneath our feet. Because this, this, yeah, this, this isn't actually a level. This just basically leads into the next boss fight. And you can kind of hear him already. So let's go through the fog and let's say hi to a literal dragon gold. There he is! I don't know... Can he actually hit us? No. Okay. So let's try and avoid him. Oh god. I, I want to have those upgrade materials. Dragon man, are you mad at me or can I just grab this? I think he's fine with me. Is he? Is because he? I know he's gonna smash me to bits. This thing is awesome, by the way. It looks huge, but the boss fight isn't actually all that, um, that bad. The cool thing is, I actually am at pure white's world tendency right now, and I don't know why. Because this weapon is only available if you're at pure white world tendency, and it is huge. So I cannot carry item will exceed carry capacity, but wait. Excuse me? Can I just send it to all? Oh. I can't even send it to Stockpile Thomas, and I can't turn back out of the boss fight. That is interesting. What What is my item capacity at the moment? Aha. So, you know, do I... Can I actually pick it up with the cling ring like this? Because I can do this. That increases my item carrying capacity, and then I can grab this bad boy. And there we get the Dragon Bone Smasher. Does that actually mean that I can now just swap over the items again? Uh, I go back to the cling ring. Ha ha ha, okay. They thought about that. Okay, fair enough. So we don't have, we only have half our health right now. Fair enough. I'll quickly check out the, um, while we're in a boss fight, eh? Let's check out the weapon that we just picked up. The Dragon Bone Smasher. 200 damage. B scaling with strength. We need 30 strength to actually wield this thing. And a, a blunt lump of iron that smashes foes. Said to have been forged by the ancestors of the Stonefang Miners to be utilized against the dragons. Imbued with a spell to protect the wielder from fire as well. Mocked by blacksmiths who snidely refer to it as a slab rather than a sword. Because, yeah, it's ba barely even sharp as well. It's basically a smashing weapon. 
Um, because it does actually count as um, cleaving damage for some reason. I would think it would be like blunt damage, but it is cleaving damage. Okay, fair enough. Half health through this boss fight, although I don't think that it really matters. Because this guy is gonna smash us down in one hit regardless. Um, can you smash that down? I think I need to smash that down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn back a little bit. He's mad. He seems mad. But it actually, is this actually not just a normal dragon, by the way? He is. Oh god. Are you gonna smash me? Because the controller is vibrating uncontrollably. Oop. Yeah, I think I died. <laughs> I just died. Yeah, I just smashed me. That's that's the dragon gold for you. I died. I died on a boss. There we go. <laughs> we died on the dragon gold. I need to stop jinxing myself. We did pick up the weapon, so I'm just gonna put, put it back at Stockpile Thomas. So now we're a smidge lighter. We dumped up, uh, the, well, dumped just a few things like the Dragon Bone Smasher. And now we're gonna just try and kill ourselves a Dragon Gold without getting smashed to piss this time by an open palm. Because the Dragon Gold's design is actually really interesting. I feel like it looks more like a man with a dragon head on top of it than like an actual dragon. Because those are actually pretty. Well, aside from the fact that they're oversized, pretty normal hands. So let's receive this. So I don't know what the trigger actually is for him palm slapping me. Um, is it just me trying to run through? Because he doesn't... He's so big that he doesn't really seem like he has, like, cues. Do I, do I just run? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait a second. What just happened? I think I survived. Okay. He still hit me there. And he killed me. Okay. Fair enough. That's not the way to do this, clearly. And Jesus Christ. So I think, is he trying to find me? Is that what's going on? Because he's swiveling back and forth. So he's trying to find me there. So now he's looking at the other side, so I can go over there. Nope. Nope. He really doesn't care. Okay, never mind. I don't know what's going on. So is this supposed to be a hint that, look, he's looking at you. He's going to hit you because he's looking at you. So right now I'm hidden. I'm hidden. I have no idea what he's trying to do, so he's, he's... He's... He's not looking at me, but I tried this the last time. He's looking away. Or is he not looking away? Ah, he's just turning back. Wait. But I mean, he has four eyes on the side of his head. He's gonna see me regardless, no? And he's always... He's always... I mean... He saw me there, so I don't think he's seeing me here. Is this supposed to be how this boss fight is done? So now he turns away. It doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to matter at all. Nope. I mean, he keeps looking in this direction too, so... I mean, so I hit the debris. The debris. The debris. And now I'm hiding behind the pillar. He can't see me because I'm behind the pillar. Can I actually run up to the next pillar? So now I can run up over here. There we go. I'm behind pillar. I'm behind pillar. I maybe don't need to run. Because I feel like running would actually pull his attention. Yeah. I mean... This this level is broken, right? I can't believe this is the part where I'm stuck on. I mean, the nostalgia berries were strong in this one, but... Jesus Christ, this is stupid. So that's one. I hide behind the pillar. 
I I'm hiding behind the pillar. So then we run up to the next one. There we go. Hello? Hello? So, so far so good. It doesn't seem to be reacting too much. And then I'm going. See, and I still get hit. I'm behind the freaking pillar. Let's heal up this time. He's trying to look at me again. La di da di da, peekaboo. But I did clear the rubble this time. I don't know how far I'm gonna have to run now. So now he's he's looking away, 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 he's looking away. And I think I reached it. Okay. That was ridiculously stupid. Let's hit this bad boy with a ballista. Bye bye. Stab. So that's one arm. And then he smashes it, obviously. I don't know why you wouldn't have smashed that in the first place. Um, so now... I need to go down, go down. There we go. I'm guessing he's gonna ha start having fire attacks this time. So now he's looking over there, not over here. Which would make me think that I have time, but now he's looking here. Okay, looky looky, looky away. Looky away. So hide behind the pillar. Hide behind the pillar. Hide behind the pillar. There's more debris on the next one. You're staying a, a long time on that side now. Are you? Yeah, no. Now he's looking over here. He can't see me. I'm behind the pillar. I'm behind the pillar. You're a big back monster and I'm behind the pillar. What's that? Was that you're moving to the other direction? I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind the pillar. I'm hiding behind the pillar. You're not looking at me. You can't see me. Is that is that turning around? Is that your version of turning to the other side? Your version of turning to the other side sucks, Dragon Bolt. Is he is he still looking or is he just in pain now? Okay. Come on, look the other way. Is that looking the other way? Oh Jesus, is that an attack or not? No. I'm behind the pillar. What's next? More debris. More debris. Nope. Nope. No, no. Wow, he just <laughs> kind of reset his head there. That was kind of weird. I think I'm going to have to run now. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, my ass was on fire there. My ass is on fire. I'm not going to turn back. There we go. There's a crystal. That's a good. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's grab that while we're doing something else entirely. This is a boss fight. Pay attention. There we go. Push the button. Okay. Second one down. Feels awesome with the, the dual sense controller, by the way. I can feel that arrow leaving the uh, the arbalest. And there we go. Okay. Now, we need to start hitting his chin bone. We can kind of see the path ahead. I, I think so. So that took away like 90% of his health. Um, I think I saw an item over here while, we, while we're completely at it. Not paying attention anymore to the boss fight. Master's Ring. I'm going to have to check that out in a minute. Because I, I have a dragon to kill first. I'm going to keep my shield up. Because this still thing is still like breathing fire on everything that it can see. Are there more items around here? I'm assuming they are. I'm gonna be careful. Don't wanna die at this point. Okay, so this is the way down. He seems to be defeated, right? <laughs> because, but he can definitely still kill you. Because now he can actually go over there. Ooh, that, that, that. No, no, go back, 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 back. There's three hits. There. I'm just gonna keep my shield up just in case. 
Oh, there we go. Dragon Gods. Dumb. I can't believe I died this much to this stupid thing. That was ridiculous on toast. Oh, I'm gonna grab that item first. Thank you for the 26,000 souls. That should be enough to bump our stats to almost a requirement for the meat cleaver. Uh, so now we can grab this. A legendary warrior soul. And now we can grab, of course, the soul of an archdemon. The dragon demon's soul. The thick colorless fog shall oppress you no more. So there we go. We got, uh, we got our final, final demon soul in, uh, Stone Fang Tunnel. And there you can see like the, the big altar in the back. This place looks amazing. I'm actually gonna check out the items that we got now because we've got quite a few. First up, we got the Nexial Agent. Allows travel across the regions connected by the next. I don't know what this is. Allows the user freedom to travel between regions as though stepping through the Nexus. Ooh. Ah, so this is. Did they add this in the remake then? Because that sounds like you can now teleport to any other world directly from one world. Which is actually pretty cool. We also got... Did I get a weapon? No, no weapon. We got the Master's Ring, so damage... More damage from optimal hits, otherwise less damage. Shaped with straw rope, this ring increases damage inflicted by optimal hits while decreasing damage inflicted by all other attacks. One of several rings originating in a distant land known for its unique sword crafting technique. This ring too was crafted with a comparably uncommon process. So is that just more damage on like backstabs and parries? I don't know what they mean with like optimal hits. I'm assuming it's backstabs and parries. Uh, and that was it. We also got the soul of course, but I'm assuming and a pure dragon stone. So uh, reinforces straight swords, axes, hammers and the like up to level 5. And the soul itself, the only thing that has changed is that it's a source of enormous power. But it's the uh, only thing that we're getting out of that. Because we're going to have to start looking into uh, what we can actually do with those souls in the future. But now, can I actually swap? Aha, yes, we have extra buttons now. We can swap to other areas. That is actually pretty cool. So we can swap immediately to another area from here. Very, very cool indeed. Okay. That means... Oh yeah, there's a bit of extra explanation here. Because I kind of forgot. In Demon Souls you get the explanation about the boss basically on the archstone that you unlock. So for the Dragon God Demon, the underground shrine was constructed both to worship and imprison the Dragon God. The miner's ancestors were inspired to fate by the great dragon bones and paid their respects by maintaining the shrine with great care. So basically, this entire place was created to harbor this Dragon God and that the demon was here to protect it as well. Um, I don't know if we get the Tunnel City. Yeah, the arm extra information on the Armored Spider. So below the smitting grounds of Stonefang, the Tunnel City is a system of pathways that gave the city its name. And legend has it that deep inside, beyond the molten swamps, is a grave for dragons. So that kind of evolves the story over uh, all the, uh, the areas over here. And the only new thing that I forgot to talk about as well was the Adjudicator Demon. So the Adjudicator bestows tokens of heroism upon the deserving dead, who are delivered by Shadow Men to the depths of the Shrine of Storms, where they are cleansed by bright water and mourned by the storm. So basically the Shrine of Storms is a place where the dead are honored, and we'll definitely see more of that in future episodes. But this was the end of Stonefang Tunnel, so let's go back to the Nexus and see what we can do with all those souls. So, it's not just 26,000 souls still. We can also consume all our consumable souls. So we're gonna do just that, and of course our demon souls, but everything else. So let's see how far along we can get if we start using up all of these. The legendary warrior soul at the very end was 8,000 souls, so that was very nice, giving us a complete total of 46,000 souls, which is quite a lot. As we said, two extra points of strength and two extra points of fate. That still gives us one more level that we can uh, eke out, and I think that we're just gonna put that into fate as well. Although magic, we need to put magic up to 10 so we can at least have access to the NPCs over there. So uh, let's confirm that. 
39,000 souls and our miracle capacity has increased as well so we can equip two miracles now in one go even though we only have access to one just yet so let's repair our equipment but of course now we need to pay a visit to uh well baldwin's brother blacksmith ed but of course before we do every anything we need to kill ourselves again because we're uh, in body form so splat and this time we are going to go back for those souls because that's uh, like 7,000 souls that we're going to lose otherwise. So, Ed, if it be a we have something you, you, you're really going to like because uh, we're actually going to make a weapon. We're going to make a weapon. Oh, I didn't bring the club. God damn it, give me a second. So, Ed, this time I actually brought the weapon that I want you to change. Hello, buddy. Need, if it be a so, upgrade weapon. Grab the club and turn it into a freaking meat cleaver. There we go. We can actually check that out. A giant cleaver forged from the soul of the adjudicator demon. Identical to the adjudicator's own weapon, it turns sinners into delectable cuts of meat. Also drains small amounts of HP from targets, perhaps a reflection of the adjudicator's gluttonous nature. One, two, three, and done. So that, right now, is 180 damage in total because we have 90 damage as a base and then 90 magic damage on top of that but it gets even better because of the s scaling so with the s scaling we get a 123 extra physical damage and with the a scaling on fate we get another 29 bit of magical damage so extremely powerful weapon basically doubling our weapon output and adding magic damage this is gonna be something that I'll be using quite a bit from now on. Now the only problem that we're gonna have is of course the meat cleaver is a lot heavier than the halberd. So if we equip that we're over 50% again. But not by much. So what we can do is just swap out our armor for the official clothes. Which are gonna look quite a bit different. And then I think I should be able to grab the greaves. So that gives us 45 again. And at can we actually swap out the gauntlets as well? That's going to be a bit too much, I believe. But look at this thing. I'm going to actually try it out over here. That I don't hit Ed by any chance. But uh, R1. Very heavy swing. Very heavy hit. So, of course, it's a slow weapon still. But if we uh, two-hand it, I think it's a bit quicker. So, there we go. We can actually... The first hit is actually quite fast. Uh, but the recovery is quite a bit stronger as well. Um, heavy hits are, of course, overhead slams with a bit of an area of effect. And I don't know if the heavy hits is going to be the same. Yeah, it's basically the same if you one-hand it. So uh, slashing, slashing, and just smashing. It's not going to be doing any puncher damage, but it is really, really good. And you actually gain HP if you hit enemies. So uh, yeah, this is going to be our go-to weapon for now. And just in case you're wondering, I can't upgrade this yet, because uh, you can actually upgrade boss weapons, but you need a special sort of uh, demon soul. You need a colorless demon soul to do that, and I don't have any of those just yet. No, just checked with the greaves, I'm actually way over the the, the weight limit then, so uh, nothing for us oh, just okay. yet. I actually have a few souls left, so I'm... Seek the power of God. Can just uh, spend those at the Disciple of Gold and just spend those on the Antidote. Um, yeah, the Antidote Miracle, that's going to be nice. So I can cure myself from poison with just a spell. Uh, and I still... No, I don't have 3,000 souls anymore. That was cool. So the, the menu actually only reacted after the, uh, the drop. <laughs> the souls went down 3,000 souls. And since it's like ticking down while I'm spending them, it lag behind a little bit so let's attune that secondary miracle as well so now we have heal and antidote if we want to so we can always heal ourselves from poison if we need to without any need for items which is also good because that clears out a bit of uh, a bit of inventory for me now with all that being done we can actually head into our next world next time and i think we're going to go into world five for a particular reason and you'll see soon enough in that episode why that's going to be so uh I'm not going to spoil anything just yet, so uh, you'll have to see and wait and see for the next episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of Demon's Souls. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and stay nutty.